fortunate, but the parents are definitely accomplices. You see, look, when you come to Ghana today and you check the UNICEF report, it is reported that one in five girls aged between 20 and 24 are married before they turn 18 years. We should be worried about that. As a people, we should be worried that several of our young people are married before they turn 18. And we are talking about the city, Accra. Can you imagine what may be happening in the rural areas where sometimes we don't even have media, you know, reports from? And so this is not something we should toy with. This is a violation that goes to the core and to the root of the family values of Ghana. And so if it's one of the platforms that we can rally around if we indeed believe that we must protect family values because you see the family is the first unit is the basic unit of every society and every child i mean must be protected at all costs until they reach the mandatory adult age of 18. this child does not have the mental capacity the emotional capacity the physiological capacity to be in a marriage relationship and so for a parent who gives this child away must be very very wicked and very very heartless if you are if you are the father of this child and you are, you are the mother of this child and you looked on and supported and assisted for this child to be sent into this unholy and on 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 godly alliance called marriage you must be very very wicked and very very mean you you are neglecting your responsibility as a parent as has been enshrined in law and and so that is why i'm saying that this is a situation where the state can move in and rescue this child and put the child under the care special care and protection of the state and the parents together with this man you know prosecuted in accordance with law